Alright you fine fine people out there on the YouTube world, I am Hazink and I am back with another Ever Crisis video. Yes, that's right. Funnily enough, I do this and I do Street Fighter, so it was one or the other. But yes, I am back talking about the new event. That's right, Beach Festival Fun. Just, just sneaking in at the end of summer, although technically you could argue summer ends in August. We're into September. Is it really summer? You know? The party don't stop, I guess. Yeah, let's call it summer. Anyway, we are going in to have a look at this new event. Here it's here. Beach Festival Fun. We have got some Fruit Ninja action going on, slicing up that big watermelon, and we can get lots and lots of goodies. So first off, let's look at the goodies that you can get from the exchange. So this is where free to play players can absolutely dine out and get themselves some nice nice things. You can get yourself 6 copies of the Beach Parasol. You can actually get more. You get them from Mission and you also get them from doing a stage for the first time on Hard, on Co-op. We'll look at that in a minute. So you can overboost this quite a bit, right? And the weapon's not bad, right? The weapon is not bad at all, right? It's not the best weapon in the game, but at the same time, it's not bad. So Hey, let's be happy we're getting something good for free. Deal 400% magic non-elemental damage. So, this is a, not a physical attack, this is a magical attack. So depending on your loadout, depending on how you've built up your team, etc. This could have its place. This could slot in at times. Let's see what it does in its material slots. Attack boost, attack boost, magic attack boost. Okay? Bear that in mind, depending on where you're using it. That's what you're going to get from it. Um, again, it's alright. I have no issues with it. If you boost it all the way up, you can see what it does here. Deal 540% magic non-elemental damage. Ranged single enemy crit rate 10%. Boost HP plus 23%. We'll look at that. Go down to... Do, 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 do. What level is that? Is that level 10? I am actually not sure what level that is. Um, we've also got boost magic defense as well, right? Which we already knew about. Decent enough stats from it. Hey, if you're going to use it as a secondary we uh, weapon, you're going to use it as a sub weapon, it's free. You know, it'll help you if you're not summoning massively. It'll help you more than what you've got just now. And I would definitely recommend maxing it out. Get as many copies as you can. Absolutely max it out. They're going hog wild right now, giving us um, stamina, potions. Use them. Use them to your advantage, guys. Get as much stuff as possible. Obviously, you're also going to want to target these gacha tokens. Hey, it's a 10 pool. It's a rather inexpensive 10 pool. Have at it. Have at it. We'll also have this pretty basic, I suppose, costume for Zach. I mean, they've put a pair of shorts on him and they've took his clothes off. So, hey, rejoice. You can obviously see that as a free-to-play costume, this is actually slightly lower than what you would, what you seem to get on the paid costumes. The paid costumes usually are about 10. Um, not all the time, right? But usually you see them at about 10. If we go and look at the featured ones on the current two banners, you'll notice that if they had these two things, they would usually be like plus 10 and plus 10. So while it's still really good, you, you can see it's just a notch below what you would expect from a I call it a premium costume, but hey, it's free, can't complain, it's better than the base costume anyway, so happy days there. Next up, this is useful, Zack's weapon part, very useful, um, I mean okay, it's not a full weapon, however it is halfway towards doing a weapon, so stuff like this is also very good. And then, you can see here, you've got all of your materials, okay, so we're going to use this as a point of reference in a second because we are going to, in a minute, do the, the co-op stage to see basically what you get for doing one run, right? So this here costs 15 to get one of these guys, right? So 15 for one of these guys. And as a point of reference, I just want to double check on solo content, if we go to enhancement quests and we go to weapon quests, and if we go down to rose gold, here it's here, that would cost 15 stamina, and we would drop one of these. I don't think it's guaranteed though, but we drop one, or maybe it is guaranteed. We drop one of these for 15 stamina, right? So if we earn more than 15, 
well, actually, do you know what? It's probably not true because along with that one gold, you get the other two as well for 15 stamina. So let's see what the event pays out with regards to those life boy or life preserver. We call them rings in, in the UK. We just call them flotation rings. I think in the US you call them life, life savers or something like that. I'm not sure. But let's go. This is missions. You're going to get one of these from your missions. You'll get loads of these things from just doing stuff. So obviously that'll give you more items to exchange. But to do the co-op, we go here. This costs 20 stamina, right? So 20 stamina, but we are going to get these, these, and these. So let's just double check. Does it tell us what we would expect to get? Initial rewards, that's out of the way. Completion rewards, we'll get six of these plus a number of these. I don't think it actually tells us the exact amount, right? So let's go in and we'll have a look at doing this stage, right? So I am going to do the times three stamina, right? That doesn't cock things up too much because again, if you were to do the times three stamina, things are boosted by four on that weapon stage. It would have cost me 10, 20, 30, 45 stamina, and I would have got four of the rose gold things. So we're going to do this, and if we earn enough tokens to exchange more than four rose gold things, I would say that using your stamina to grind to clear out the shop is probably going to be a better use of your resources. That, and the fact that we're also getting the watermelons on top while you still have watermelon rewards to buy, it definitely is. But once you've cleared out the watermelons, then that's when we're going to probably weigh up. Is it worth using your stamina to clear out the shop? Or is it better to just do resource stages? So I guess we'll kind of find that out right now. Um, so anyway, doing this stage, it's actually fairly easy. I would just for security's sake, make sure you've got both of these sigils in your party because the battle I done earlier, the people I was fighting with, did not and we won but i had to keep healing because i have built my cloud for this anyway to be a, a hybrid healer stroke dps unit you know i didn't mean to do a private party i meant to do a i meant to do a public party um okay times three oh you can't do times three oh wait what i done it earlier Wild power, 20. I done this earlier. Is this because I changed my body? Oh, hang on. I need to boost something here. Um, bum, 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 bum. Change out you, I suppose. I don't really want to take that away, though. Um, give me a second. Right, so after some tinkering, I've fixed that. Um, I, I literally, I changed the sub weapon, but. I really want to actually change back, so I'm going to have to level that sub-weapon later. Um, but we've now got enough, so we'll jump in and we'll do this stage now. I am still using the emulator for this, by the way. So, see how quickly we match. I'll pause it here, because I'm not going to make you sit and wait until it matches, right? Right, so we're matched, and it looks like I might have to actually carry this one, because I'm the strong... No, I'm not the strongest. Wait, how is that cloud at the end? Got so much power. Wow. He must have wailed out hard on those weapons. <laughs> He's wailed out hard on those weapons and I feel like I am the only one who... No, everyone's got some healing. Okay, he disbanded. God damn it. Wait until someone else comes back then, shall we? Right, you came back. It looks like you're going to be forced to fight with us, guy. Either fight with us or you're not going to get a match. I think that's how it's going to go. Heal. We'll see. Right, hit start. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. We're ready to go. Someone hit start. I hit start. It's not difficult. Just a hit start. The cloud in the middle is rocking the summon. I don't really know if that's the best choice. Oh my god, that guy is just actually going to waste my time here. Right, maybe this time we won't get abandoned. We'll soon find out. Hopefully. Thank god. Right, so we're, we're good to go. This battle is fairly straightforward, okay? Apart from people being douchebags and abandoning the lobby because they think they're not going to win but 
I look after people on my team, that's why I've got the healing loadout, I'll make sure you stay alive. I've also brought all my sigils to make sure we can kill the barrier. So this will go absolutely flawlessly, just you wait and see. So we're looking at the end of this to see what we're going to get paid for payouts. Remember, we're looking to beat the equivalent of four, ro like four rose gold blocks which was going to cost 45 stamina. I'm using 60 stamina here. Rose gold blocks cost 15 life preservers. So right now, we're pretty much looking to better that, right? See, look at me being good healing people. Do you see that? Do you see that? I said them the last time as well. They pick on me. I don't know what it is. I don't know why I get picked on, but I'm about to get hit by a big attack here. It's all good. We can take it. We're big boys here. That's fine. Oh God, heal me. Somebody heal me. Heal me now. Heal me now. Heal me now. Heal me. Heal me right now. Heal me right now. Heal myself then. Jesus God, you guys are not good teammates. You guys are not good teammates. Now I'm having to concentrate because these people are not healing me. Holy crap. That is not the way this... What? These people... Thank you. Someone finally used a heal. That is not the way these things are supposed to go. We are all supposed to be a team. We're supposed to help each other. Like at this point here, I am going to start popping off these goddamn sigils because I have brought the things to do so. We're going to pop these ruin blows and we are going to destroy his big shield. Like so. If the rest of them had done that, we would be making this fall down at a massive rate. Now, I probably should use the other one, to be honest, because that hit me again. No, it didn't. Because I think the other one's got the take two down. Oh, it has. It has. I'm taking down more, right? Or did I take down more with this one? Let me see again, right? Oh, why did you do that? Why did you do that? No, we should... Oh, God. This is why I don't like doing co-op with randoms really don't like doing co-op with randoms. The team I had earlier that was doing this was actually a lot more straightforward. They were on the ball. We absolutely crushed it. And to be honest, nobody was crazy leveled. Nobody was crazy leveled. Everybody was at a nice, normal, not crazy level. I feel like I should maybe just pop that. I really do. Although he's going to hit me again and I'm probably going to die this time. Not King Goliath. I need to heal him. I need, I'm going to use this and then I'm going to heal him. I need to heal him. This usually goes a lot more straightforward. I'm going to have to go into manual because I'm going to need to heal that boy. There's nobody else is going to do it. Come on, 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 come on. I've healed him. I've done my bit. Right. Maybe, maybe he'll survive this. He did not survive this. Raise? What? What's that? Never seen that before. I'll raise him. I'll raise him. Didn't know you could do that. Never seen it done. Nice. So we have got Phoenix Downs essentially. So we'll go back to auto because this guy just needs to die now. That's what needs to happen. And I have the sigils that would kill him. Other people also have the sigils that would kill him. Right, finally. That was a lot more hassle than it should be. The battle I'd done earlier was a lot easier. We probably will not get an S rank here because I had to revive that guy. Maybe not reviving him would have been the best way to go. But that is going to have affected our payout, unfortunately. Right, so let's see here. What is the payout going to be? 80. 240. So what was it? I said 15. I think it said 15 per rose gold. And we got 240. So... Oh hell yeah, yeah, it's, it's most definitely worth spending your stamina to clear out the event shop. I would absolutely look at clearing out the event shop. Um, it's definitely something that I would consider doing because looking at the payout of stamina cost versus what you can get, you're getting more bang for your buck by a significant amount, definitely. So push this, push this, spend your next couple of days, park what else you're doing, push this as much as possible not only are you going to get some nice goodies with relation to 
wep up here, we'll go back to it. Uh, so weapons, gacha tickets from this kind of stuff. The actual conversion rate of these versus what you would get for grinding stages, you are going to get more stuff here for less stamina. So 100% I would put your focus on to just clearing out this shop. Um, you're going to get stronger along the way anyway, so why not? But 100% put your focus into clearing out this shop. It's definitely going to serve you well. And 100%, in my opinion, it's worth it. Anyway, guys, I've been Hazing. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.